Hi, I'm Craig with Data Video. Today I'd like to show you a brand new 4K video production workflow from Data Video. And we're going to show you the Showcast 100 and our new auto tracking cameras. Now we've already introduced the Showcast 100 in 2023, but now we have a brand new firmware that we're releasing for the Showcast 100, which will allow you to control the auto tracking cameras directly on the interface of the Showcast. We just showed you the clips of, of how easy it is to use auto tracking in these type of venues. Now I'd like to show you in a studio setting, up close and personal, how we actually did all those features with the auto tracking. Miguel is actually going to activate or turn on the auto tracking, just each one, one, two, three. And uh, now each camera is being, I'm being tracked. I can walk around this camera over here. I could walk over and the camera will move with me. Or I could go to the center camera and he can switch to that camera. And it's still, it's a clean switch because they're all being tracked to me. So it's really slick. This is a, a real reason to have multiple cameras for auto tracking. Let's say I want to have to zoom in on different ways. Uh, I can do that as well. So if I want to have a nice close-up shot, why don't we zoom in on that? So we'll have a nice close-up shot here. And the one on the center, we're going to have uh, more of a mid-range shot. And then that's going to be like waist up. And then over here, I'm going to have more of your wide shot. So. If I stand back a little bit, you can see that it's a full body shot here. They're all indicated on a little uh, icon on the interface of Showcast 100. Next, I want to show you how to actually select somebody if you happen to have more than one person on the stage. Uh, go ahead, uh, Miguel, and turn on the tracking, this camera. Now we have Katie and I. This is Katie, by the way. And uh, you can actually select one of us to be tracked. So let's sit, track Katie now. You can select her. And now I can walk around, I can even walk in front of her, and it's still gonna be tracking her, and Katie can walk that direction, and you can see the camera will follow her. So now let's see if I wanna, I wanna be tracked. Let's, let's come back together here, Katie, and I'll look at this camera over here. And this camera here, I wanna be tracked, so same thing, you turn on the tracking. And so uh, now Miguel can select me, and now I'm being tracked. So now we can walk, independently of each other, and Miguel can switch from one camera to the other, um, and now she can walk over that way. Maybe she's over by the whiteboard, and then you can switch back over to me. Now, basically, I want to maybe zoom in on Katie, so go ahead, Miguel, and zoom in maybe a mid-shot, and now cut to me, and uh, do a mid-shot on me as well. So now we're both mid-shot. Now let's do a split screen so you can see how, how that might look. So now we're both this shot. Now, Katie, you can walk around, I can walk around, and we're still gonna be available in the shot right in the middle. And you, you know what? You can't do that if you have just a single uh, joystick on a, on a camera controller. You actually would need two camera controllers to do this, but not with these auto tracking cameras. There's one really cool feature that is available now on the Showcast 100. Now let's say I wanna have a placement of my talent on the left or right of the video. You can do that with, by the push of a button. Let me show you a couple applications of what you might want to do with your talent being left or right of the screen. So I'm going to walk over to this, this uh, whiteboard here, and uh, there's a chart on there, and I'm going to stand right next to it. And maybe I want to point something out to my online audience, but I'm right in the middle here. I want to kind of be over to the right of this. So Miguel can push a button, and now I'm being shifted over automatically. And now I can point something out on the whiteboard, I mean on my chart here. And um, I'm still in the shot. And they can see the full chart here. and get up and step back this way a little bit and your camera will move in a little tighter. Now I wanna show you another application. I'm gonna go walk right in the middle of the, the, the set here. And uh, the camera in the middle is now tracking me. Miguel's now gonna zoom in on that chart with a different camera. And now we're gonna do a picture in picture. So this might be another way of doing a presentation of some sort where you wanna show your, a picture in picture and still be in the shot. And you can see that I'm already in this, uh, standing over to the right of my picture in picture. So now I can walk this direction and the chart will move with me. 
So that's really effective because that, that way I'm not smack in the middle of it. I could also do a lower third. So Miguel just popped that right in now. He has the time to do all those features because the auto tracking's doing all the work for him. He doesn't have to mess with the joystick and follow me around the room if I'm walking around the room. So it's really an incredible solution that we have. If you'd like to know more about what you just saw today, the cameras, the show, Showcast 100, we can show you all that and these kits that we put together. Just click on the link below this video to learn more about that. We also have more solutions available on our website at datavideo.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of new videos that we're gonna show about auto tracking. And thanks for watching.